Good morning. Uh, we are having a beautiful day. Today I want to talk really briefly about most of the products on the market are only tested at the beginning. So let's say I am a broker and I have a thousand pounds of um, distillate that I'm selling to the community, right? I'm selling it to say a hundred different CBD brands. Now I only test a, a small percentage of that distillate and come back clean. Who's to say that other 99% of this lit that I sell um, is not clean? And and brands are actually selling this product without getting it tested because they felt like because I tested it and I provided them a lab test that it's okay. But what happened between step A and B? What happens, you know, when you're making products at your home, when you have pets there? What happens if you're making products in the kitchen that's not properly sanitized? These are the big questions that we as a community need to ask brands and hold them accountable. Because at the end of the day, our health is our wealth. And sometimes you hear too that brands say that testing is expensive. But the question I have is, is that $200 test worth you being sued because your product got somebody um, very sick and ended up in the hospital. You know what happens when the government comes down with the regulations and said, hey, you all of a sudden you're out of business because you're not testing your products. Or we tested your products when you found all this pesticides in there, this my, this my, mycotoxins, you found mold in there. You know, so as a brand, you have to be diligent and don't be like everybody else because somebody else finds that they don't need to test it doesn't mean you shouldn't either. Um, have a beautiful day. Enjoy yourself. 